Hello everybody, Ragtag Segvi here, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we defeated Cynthia in our first rematch, and now we're going to do the second round of rematches where the Elite Four and Cynthia are at their strongest. For this, I've gone ahead and trained up my Pokemon to be the max level that they can be. Their moves are unchanged, but they're at, the, at their strongest potential. So let's head on in. Let's take on the Elite Four again. Our first Earth, Earth battle with Auron. Hey there, Donnie. I had a hunch you would come back for more battles. I guess, as you could say, a little bug told me. And I can tell just by looking at you. Looking that your Pokemon are more beautiful and, and polished than, than before. Of course, so are mine. So now, let me show you the evolutionary power of bug-type Pokemon. Here we go, our second rematch. That's with Aron, where he he is now at his strongest. Aron will send out Yon Mega, level 75. I bug flying type. Uh yeah, let's see. Yeah, bug flying type. With the moves, bug buzz. Yeah, with the moves, Bug Buzz. Buzz, uh, Air Slash, Detect, and Ancient Power. Uh, the Ancient Power, uh, not the Ancient Power, the Detect can get really annoying because he loves using that. Uh, it has the ability Speed Boost, so every turn it's going to get faster. So as you can imagine, he's probably going to use um, Detect a few times, so that way he can get the Speed Boost off. It is also holding on to Wise Glasses, so its special attacks are boosted by 10%. Yep, of course he's getting that tech off so he can get his boost of speed. Alright, so let's try and burn down that buggy. Ooh, that hit hard. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, let's keep Hideyoshi in there. Burn down that hair. All right, Heracross, level 77, bug fighting type with the ability Gut, so its stats will be boosted. Uh, it's I believe by 50% if burned or anything. With the moves, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Facade, and Close Combat. It's also holding onto a Flame Orb. I'm sorry for this. For being late on the description, because I was so distracted by Hideyoshi being at low health. Now he's going to bring out Flygon. Level 75, Ground Dragon type. So it's not a bu bug type Pokemon. On, oh, although I guess it does look sort of bug like, so I guess that's why he has it on his team. With the moves Dragon Pulse, Earth Power, Boom Baz, and Bug Buzz. Ooh. 
It is also holding on to wise glasses, so its special attacks is boosted by 10%. Alright, he's here to send out Vestaquid. I'll keep Fuji out. And also I'll heal up uh, Hiyoshi for his next uh, Pokemon after Vestaquin. Um, Vestaquin, level 77. Bug Flying type. Alright, with the ability Unnerve, so we can't eat our berries. Please, if your Pokemon was holding on to any. With the moves, Power Jam, Attack Order, Aer Aerial Ace, and Defense Order. It is also holding onto a citrus berry, so it can heal if its health gets low enough. Ooh! That hit hard! Let's quickly give Fuji a heal, so that way Fuji might be able to survive long enough to get an attack out. Now I'm wondering if Fuji can get an attack out. We'll try. Oh yeah, Fuji is faster than his Vestaquin. I thought his Vestaquin would be faster. Down goes his Vestaquin. Next he's gonna send out Zizor. Bug Steel type with the ability Technician. So any steel, so any, any steel. Any moves that are base power 60 or lowered is going to get a boost in its power. I believe it's by 30%? I think it's that boost. Uh, 50% actually. It is also holding on to an Oka Berry, so I believe that minimizes the super effective damage it would take from fire moves. But it's still four times weakness, so this scissor probably not gonna survive Hideyoshi's flamethrower. His final book one's gonna be um Drampon! Who should I send for this? Um, I could leave Hideyoshi out. Uh, but then there's everything else that he has. Yeah, I'll leave Hideyoshi out. Not yet! We'll keep struggling to the very end! Drampon! Level 79! Poison Dark Type! With the ability Sniper, so any critical hits this thing um, does on you, that critical hit, instead of doing 150% um, damage, will do 225 damage. Uh, percent damage. So, do not get hit by critical hits by this thing. It also has Scope Lens, so this thing's critical hits are raised by one stage, and it has moves such as Cross Poison, Poison, uh, Night Slash, Earthquake, and Exorcers. Most of those attacks have high critical hit rates. So as you can see, this Pokemon is very focused on getting critical hits on you. You want to take this, uh, take it out ASAP. And we feed it Aron. I lost completely. I think you've come to realize how great bug Pokemon can be. This brings me back to when I first discovered bug Pokemon. I couldn't believe how sharply they were polished. Their survival skills, and ever since then I was devoted myself to following the beauty of bug type Pokemon. But as such, it bugs me to lose ooze like this to you. I'll never stop aiming for perfection. That way, I can keep showing the owing the wonder of bug type Pokemon to the world. And now, on to the next room. My bug po- Oh, I've already spread the buzz about your victory. 
Well, after defeating Aron, we'll head on to the next ex elite form, uh, elite form, elite four, or which is which is Beffa. Uh, in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts to this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow, and I'll see you all next time. Later.